Uh oh, I only got one. Yep. Hey folks, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Today I got Steve on the camera. Today's video, folks, is I'm going to be flying some big airplanes. Uh, the uh, Aerofoam L3900 5mm and the Aerofoam MB339 off of what you can see back here is uh, pretty rough grass okay we've had this in some grass demos before um, but they hadn't mowed here in a while because it's rained and what I'm going to be showing you guys is these we're going to be doing a demo here um, of the uh, China Hobby Line can you get in on that okay Steve yep these are the China Hobby Line 6S uh, 6070 C packs this is going to be the first flight on them and um, I've heard they're real powerful, so you know we're going to see what they do in here. Um, they are actually uh, kind of the heaviest batteries that I've had in here. They're a little over a thousand grams each, so we're going to see how you know two heavy airplanes on poor grass, you know, um, handle such a big kind of big battery in such condition. So what I'm going to show you in here is just my quick setup here, Steve. You want to take a look in there, and I'll probably show this in a video later on, but you can see my. China Hobby Line batteries. They're nice and slim and they actually fit together nicely. Again, a little heavier. So I had to shift them back a little bit. I made a little battery bar here that I'll show you guys in a, you know, a little later video or a clip or something of how I got that in there. I trimmed a little bit of the foam in the back to push these far back to get the CG to work out. CG is, uh, Steve, if you can get here on the wing, it's about four and a quarter, four and a half inches back from the leading edge of the wing. So, um, but I figured let's do a maximum kind of, you know, sort of stress test on this today with probably the heaviest batteries that I have. Again, thousand grams each. These China Hobby lines um, um, on a on a heavy jet like these, you know, kind of these uh, aerofoam planes on kind of really rough conditions. I would have preferred that they mowed it, but since it's the way it is, we're going to kind of give these batteries and these airplanes a pretty good test on a on a grass service so steve you ready to roll let's hit it let's plug these things in and let's go with these china line, hobby line batteries okay folks i got everything wired up and ready to go we're gonna do a quick engine run up all right seems to be putting out good power all right here we go we'll taxi it on out right left up down I'm going to use full elevator rate because there's a lot of, lot of thick grass out here, so we'll get it rolling on out there. This is also first flight out on this radio. We just tuned it, so Steve, you want to take a couple uh, steps forward towards where the, uh, up to the airplane stand line, and I'll move it out of the way there. Right, left, up, down, right, left. All right, here we go. Flaps for takeoff. This grass is tall. It's been raining and they hadn't mowed and we got a heavy battery deal here. So, you ready to rock, Steve? Let's hit it. Here we go. Take it off. There we go. Yeah, it's thick grass though. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of expecting a long roll like that. It's about normal. Let the gear come up. This is like a true test flight, folks, because I actually, I actually put some magnets, folks, in the, um, um, in the uh, landing gear doors to keep them from help them keep them close them, because they weren't closing that well before. They were staying open, so I made them magnetic. Seems okay, Steve. Looks good. I'm back to about half throttle here. I'm just trimming back. CG may be a little farther forward than I, you know, normally like, but. Again, we just did the whole radio setup on this, so it's so out of trim. All right, let me bring it around here. Power's really off right now. I'm going to bring in some power now. That's good power. Uh, I forgot to put the GPS in it, Steve. Darn it. I was, was going to put that in video. to see what the speed was. I forgot. But it seems good on these batteries. It's 6,000 and it's flying okay on it. Let's drop some flaps. This is a JP fan in this one. I've got plenty of videos on this airplane, folks. Assembly, setup, all that kind of stuff. And it's, uh, it's on the RC Informer YouTube channel. I'll put links in the upper right-hand corner of the screen for those. Very nice, very nice. I'm adding some power here. I'm just kind of doing a slow flight turnaround. Go 
going into the wind here. Very well behaved. There's no gyro in this, folks. I'm flying it without any of that. Let me come by from the other side. Do a downwind fast pass here. Seem to be putting out good power for what it is. Not bad, not bad. Let me do a presentation pass, Steve, for you. I'm going to kind of come deep here and bank in on the turn. Very nice. Flies beautifully. Like I said, we just set it up on a new radio. I got magnets in the doors to help keep them closed. And uh, the setup, Steve, seems to be the same as what I had before. So let me bring it back in the middle. I'll go vertical here. Inverted. Straight up, Steve. I think the doors are closed, aren't they? I think so. They're staying closed. Very nice. All right, I'm going to get the gear down. Looks like the doors are opening. I'm going to go to flaps here. Let the gear come down. Add a little power. Turn in final. I'll get my last setting of flaps in, so full flaps are in. Carry a little power. There we go. Nice. Get the flaps up. So this is probably worst case scenario. Heavyweight airplane really tall grass, you know, very heavy batteries. And you guys can calculate um, the takeoff time to the landing time to get an idea what the flight time was. You usually you only get three to five minutes or so out of these. And uh, let me get my latch here. My latch is kind of, I have a sticky latch on this one. There we go, we got it. Oh, I got the latch off, canopy latch off. It sticks on me from time to time. You care to wager on the battery? 39%. What do you think, Gav? 23. Gav's watching, 23. All right, let's see what we got. All right, put that in there. <laughs> 51. Uh, it's a 39. <laughs> so what kind of flight time do you think that was? Probably about three minutes? About four, nine, about four, about 410, I think. 410 yeah. from takeoff to landing? Yeah. And I'm still at 51%? Wow, that's that's pretty darn good. I mean, I, I'm surprised that uh, it had plenty of power, but yeah, 52% now it's showing. That's impressive for such a heavy battery. Again, these are, these are uh, and in fact, I'll pull these out here so you guys can take a look at these. Let me unplug real quick, and I'll show you what these look like here. Um, I like these things. They fit in. Actually, they fit in nicer than a traditional, like a 5,000 pack. Um, I'm surprised that flew that long. Holy moly. We'll have to do more with these. But um, here's the, uh, these are the packs, folks. Let me pull this out of here. Let me check the other one just for the heck of it. Let's see if, uh, make sure that's at the same. Wow, I'm impressed. I thought I was going to be down kind of low. 54%. But, Steve, if you want to get a close-up on, uh, on these, take a look at this one. It's a real nice pack but it's also flat. So they actually fit, are you getting all that okay? Yeah. They actually fit in very nicely in this plane, tall like this. Normally I put some uh, shelf liner between the two of them, but they fit in there real nice. They're heavy, but it flies, it takes, it handles the weight very well. You just gotta shift it back. And in fact, Steve, if you can get in on this, if you need to come closer, come on closer. But you can see, I don't know if you can get in on there, Yep. but I cut the foam right there. Can you see in there? Yes. I cut the foam there. I cut the foam there. I put an additional piece. If you just tell me if you need me to move it a different way. No. I put an additional piece of shelf liner here. So you can see your normal battery floor. It only had one strap in it. You guys know from my assembly guide and everything, I put four. So I'm actually putting these batteries in in such a way that they're way in the back and it's actually only using the, uh, the, the front two or can you see that the rear two straps? Yep. Can you see those okay? Yeah. Right there. So what I did is I built a battery bar, okay, just to support the extra weight. So when I want to fly inverted and do that kind of stuff, I can do it with it. And it fits right in, and it actually bolts to bolts to this thing right here. 
I'll probably show you a picture of that and let you. See, I'll throw a couple pictures up here so you guys can sort of see what that looks like. But that's just an extra hold because I only have two straps around the front part of this battery. You know what I mean? So, so it's. Um, I wanted to have something in the back to kind of keep that down because again, you've got a thousand grams here you're fooling around with, and we've got two of them. So I don't know what is that four or five pounds, some heavy battery. So, what do you think? Sweet. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, this is some thick grass. Normally, it gets off the ground a little quicker, but I set my elevator up so I have a high elevator throw, okay? I have 125% travel in there, okay? So you can see all that tail movement that I have. And then once I get it up in the air, I'll go back to 100% or even 70 and fly it around at high speed on 70%. So on the high travel, 125, it's going to be real pitch sensitive, but sometimes you need that to get off get off the grass so anyway all right Steve let's load up some batteries in the MB we'll put another pair of these 6,000 uh, China hobby lines in there let's see how that does off of grass also okay guys we got the MB 339 aerofoam here all set up with our um, with our big packs in there once again China hobby line 6,000 milliamp 70 C so it's heavy now uh, about as heavy as it's going to get. Again, they're about a thousand grams each. So my CG is right about on the factory CG, Steve. I don't know if you can get on that. Um, but it's right about there. Maybe just a hair ahead of that. Um, I don't remember the exact number. 160, 150, something like that. But check out the setup guide on this that will show you guys how to, you know, get these batteries arranged in there and how to, you know, configure your your equipment, your electronics, your brake modules, landing gear modules, you know, your batteries, your receiver, all that stuff. I have that video. I'll put it in the upper right hand corner so you guys can see the configuration. So this is a serious test today on this guys because again, it's a real heavy airplane right now. We got horrible grass. They haven't mowed. I mean you guys can see Steve if you want to get down here, there's tall weeds here and everything. So um, we're on the stock power system with this. The uh, change sun fan. I haven't changed anything since the last, you know, several videos. I haven't done anything different to it. So I think we're good to go. So let me do a quick thrust check, Steve. See what we got going on here. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, we're good. Quick flight control check. Right, left, up, down. I've got 70 on the ailerons for low. 100 for mid, 125 for high, elevator I got 125 there for full, use that on grass for taking off, get it the nose up in the air, and then 100 and then 70, so we're good, flaps for takeoff, alright Steve I think we're good to go, let me uh, walk over here with you, I do have stabilization in this one so that's just helping me out a little bit, got the Spectrum uh, 8 channel, all right, Steve, you good to go? Steve's got some, we got some bugs out biting our legs and stuff, yeah. Yeah, you good? Yeah, so far. All right, here we go. This plane normally has tons of power on this stock fan, so let's see what it does today. What's that? You can see, yeah, you ready? Gavin's time in the flight, so take it off! Yeah, that's easy, Steve, easy. That gets up there just fine. I'm coming back on the power. We also decided to do this without the tip tanks today. So the guys were like, hey, you don't need to put those on there, do you? I'm back at about half throttle here, folks. The stock fan makes a little bit more of a growl, but it's uh, very powerful. I'm coming back to low elevator rate. That moves along, let's go up. We don't have any clouds for reference, but it's going up there. I'm going to power off and just let it tail slide on down. So I'm back at 70% on the ailerons and the elevator. So I'm going to put some flaps in. All right, there we go. I'm going to drop the speed brake, Steve, just so people can see it coming by. It gives you a nose low attitude there. It's cool having the speed brake, but I don't think it's necessary. Steve, I'm going to go right and come down with a, de with a tailwind pass here. Beautiful flying airplane. Flies like a fighter. It got off the ground easy though, Steve. Yep. 
Man, that's impressive. Handles great. great. What's that? She cranks. Watch out for the birds, yeah. We do a sort of a presentation pass, Steve, about half throttle here. Pretty. Very nice. I think this is my favorite of the aerofoam planes. I do like it with the tip tanks on it. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. I'm going to add some power. I'm doing some steep turns here. Uh, we are going to come by hot again, Steve. Okay. That's full throttle. Oh, yeehaw! I got to get the GPS on this. <laughs> See how quick it's going, because it really does turn, man. It, it's uh, it's impressive. Do you know what the weight of the battery? No, not really. I mean, it took off in very short order on this tall grass. What time you got, Gavin, on us? Two and, a half Two and a half minutes, okay. Yeah, I mean, I I really, I think the L39, I could tell the weight a little bit, but that also might be CG. I actually might even need to shift those. Shift those things back a little bit more. I, uh, see, I only have two straps on these batteries, Steve, so... Flying inverted on it right now, I'm not real comfortable with because I don't want to do an inverted battery bomb drop. <laughs> Going vertical. I tell you, this thing's got some power. How's that new handle working out, Steve? Pretty good, but. Uh, oh, sorry, I'll bring it down. Sorry about that. That's right. Steve might have lost it because I, I did vertical stuff, so sometimes it's, it's hard to do the got neck. My eye on this side, I couldn't see it. Yeah, don't worry, no big deal. I'm going to do a little slow pass, okay? All right. I got flaps down. Low and low. They really do. Well, and again, this one is gyro stabilized. So, you know, I got the, the, the Spectrum 8000, 80 something, 60, whatever. We'll look at it when we land. I can't remember the number. So we're at a four minute flight now. Uh, let's uh, let's bring it on in. Oh, yep, let's bring it on in. Oh, yep, uh, actually, the battery's going on me, I think. <laughs> All right, gear's coming down. Uh-oh, I only got one. Yep. I'm going to land it anyway. I'm going to land it just because it's not coming down. Let me just do a smooth, yeah. I didn't want to, because I think I was losing power, so... Let's kind of see what it what uh, what was up with it. Dude, it is a mosquito haven over there. <laughs> we got some bug spray. Oh man, dude, there's mosquitoes like you wouldn't believe over there. Yeah, well, there's all right, this is a testament to this airplane. I did not want to risk going around because I thought I might, you know, to get the gear down. I just figured, let me belly land it um, smoothly there because if you try to go around and I think I'm losing power, maybe I was, maybe I wasn't, we'll check the battery, you can lose the whole airplane, you know, if you can't go around. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and uh, see if I can get the gear up and down. Might have been just a little glitch. Let me get it. Let me get it all the way up. But check out the bottom of the plane. Perfect. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, it just—I don't even see really. I see a little bit of weed right there, but that's about it. A little bit here. We already scraped this on the runway at Jet Jam, but let's put it all down. Might have just been a momentary glitch with the power, but as I was powering up, I really didn't—it didn't feel like I had full power, you know. Gotcha. So I figured, let me not go around. Let's just do a safe landing. Uh, you know, you can do that with these airplanes and especially on grass. This is why I like flying planes off of grass. Because when you land them, if I had to do it on pavement. So, you see, I got a little scrape here on the door. Yep. And, uh, but yeah, I didn't want to really go around. Let me do this. Let me see. 
Wow, it really is kind of unscathed. Um, let me do, real quick, a power check and see if I was daydreaming that. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was losing some power. So I don't know if that's the batteries or speed controller or what, but, but um, good idea, guys. We didn't have the uh, tip tanks on there because we might have torn those up. Yeah. But man, this thing slides in nicely into grass. There's a lot of bugs down there. So let's uh, let's take a quick look again. Steve, you want to scan back there and see if you see any damage at all? I don't think there is. See, there's a little piece of grass right here. Okay. I only put in partial flaps because I was running out of power for whatever reason. I think it might be the speed controller, but let's check the batteries. There's a little bit of grass there, but look at that. Nothing. Even the landing gear mounts, check this out. Your landing gear mounts are... Um, here, look, Steve, I got some grass here. Check it. Yeah, I'll see it right there. there. I got that's, that's bragging rights there. But yeah, if I had tried to go around, I would have crashed the plane out there. So, so for whatever reason, I was losing power. Who knows? But, uh, but landing gear's fine, handles this nicely, it's slid in. This is very tough foam, guys, these aerofoams. So let's do this. Let's check out the battery. Let's see what's happening. They're a little warm, but not bad. You guys want to wager on the battery? Zero. Let's see. I'm gonna say 10, 12 percent. I was out there for four, four and a half minutes now, wasn't I? Okay. So that was a long flight. That was probably just me overflying it so and having fun. Time. That was just time. Well, the thing is, is that, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I just figured because the other one flew a long time, uh, seemed to fly longer. I figured I could go a little longer with this, but maybe not. So, but still, still, that's, that's some good time. You know, that's, that's still better than what I was getting out of 5,000. So let's see what we got. I'll tell you what, that takeoff was awesome. Yes. I mean, it, it took right off on the, on the thick grass with all this weight. All right, you guys got your wagers in? No, one percent. Twelve. Two. <laughs> two. Now, here's probably why. Here's probably why. Is that it's a stock fan. It's not a JP, so it's a little less efficient. It's got plenty of power, and clearly you get a four-minute flight out of it now with six thousands. Um, and if you land it on the grass, not a problem. Yeah, this is down at zero. Yeah, it's flashing at me. 3.6 volts per cell, you know, so. But I got to tell you, man, that is a testament to this airplane, though. Um, it's solid. I have no kinking, no dinging. See up here, Steve? Yep. Look at the landing gear mount. Even with that slide. In fact, it was this landing gear. This is how tough these things are, these aerofoam planes. Um, no bending, no kinking. This was the gear that was down, I believe. Yep. So it kind of slid that way, but uh, the structure of this plane is pretty darn awesome. So, um, and the batteries last a long. Normally, I only get about three or something minutes right out of this. Yep. So, but yeah, look at all the gear mounts. No bending, no dinging. The only thing that I did to it was there's a little grass here, little grass there, and I got a little. This got in the dirt a little bit, but airplane's fine and good to go. So, not bad. I tell you, I'm impressed. That's the first time I've had to belly this. But again, when it comes to decision making too, when you're flying planes like this, if you know you're out of power, you know, don't risk a go around and, you know, totally running out of electricity and then you have to ditch it. If I'd have gone around, I would have lost power out there and uh, there I was in a nice controlled descent landing anyway. Usually if you just do a normal landing um, um, with one gear, two gear, whatever, you're usually not going to have a problem, especially on grass. So I'm pumped, man. That was pretty awesome. So. Steve, you got any comments? Sweet. Sweet flying airplane. That's for China sure. Hobby Line, man. 6,000. 70C packs. They're super awesome. I'll put links below if you guys want to check these out. Um, they definitely fly this plane a lot longer. No problem getting off, getting off of uh, you know tall grass like this. Um, you just got to not have too much fun with it. And, and understand, too, that you got a bit a little better efficiency with a JP or something else, probably than the stock fan. And that's probably why. I bet if I put a JP in this, or other, you know what I mean? I'll get a better time out of this because that that um, that L39, we got a decent time out of these things. Mm -hmm. So anyway, guys, check these out below. China Hobby Line, no joke, really good batteries. A little on the heavy side, but man, they they get the job done. So uh, Steve, thanks for filming. Uh, guys, thanks for watching RC Informer. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Hit the like button. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see y'all next time.